The first teamfight tactics set was released in June 2019. It was a beta set inspired by Dota Outer Chess. But let's be honest, TFT Rocket launched the Outer Chess genre into space. It was incredibly fun to play, watch, react and discuss. A lot of big streamers hopped into that TFT train and hyped the game with already a huge audience. By the end of the summer, TFT hit over 30 million monthly players. <laughs> It's a lot more. <laughs> the pellet hits to the end of the board. What? So the goal right now is not to roll. The goal right now is to reach four, 50 gold. So I can get in another MF. That's the, that's the plan right now. Because rolling is not going to guarantee me this. And I'm pretty sure... Wait! Everybody's dead! Oh my god, never mind. Roll! Holy shit! Ah! <laughs> After a successful debut, Riot announced that Teamfight Tactics will be a permanent game mode and gave the additional support by announcing a commitment to building a competitive scene for Teamfight Tactics starting in 2020. The first set included 24 synergies and 60 League of Legends characters. All traits were simple, unique and fun to play. Demon units were selling mana, Glacial had a chance to freeze enemies by attacks, Yordles had dodge chance, and pirates just allowed you to gain extra gold at the end of the round. Some of the traits and character skills were reused later in next set, the others were not, but we'll never forget the one-shots from old Akali and Carthus. So I positioned perfectly against this top, let me show you. Let's look at the old items. For example, Hush gave a very high chance to silence enemy, Swordbreaker to disarm, and Curse Blade had a small chance of reducing the star level of the target. Repeating crossbow bounced from one to another wearer on death, stacking up crit chance and attack speed. Runan was built with spatula and triggered one hit attacks, and Ludenzeka dealt splash damage on every cast. Let's go, Darius. Solo them. Okay, just kidding. Oh, unless. Wait, my Darius is a god. Get out of here! <laughs> it didn't take too long for developers to announce the next set and in November 2019, Rise of the Elements was released. It was a huge refresh for Teamfight Tactics units with 50 new characters. Go Z, go! Go Z, go! Multiply like bunnies! <laughs> I'm ending the fight with more units than I start with! <laughs> In Rise of the Elements, there were different arena types with elemental hexes – Inferno, Mountain, Ocean and Cloud. They spawned randomly on every player's board in the same spot for everyone and took one item slot. The other unique mechanic was given to Kiana. She switched her element based on what element the map is. Another interesting unit was Singed. He sprinted across the map, poisoning everyone. And last but not least, Lux was the 7 cost avatar unit, which counted as 2 units of your current element. <laughs> Next set was released in March 2020 and Riot also launched a mobile version of game with a full cross-platform at the same time. Galaxies introduced to us Space Pirates, Mech Pilots, and Star Guardians. In a perfect world, we get like two spatulas also, because then we could make two protectors and go six protector, which would be hilarious. Uh, but that's not what happened. 
I mean... Or is it? What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> there were different galaxies each game. Big Bang gave each player force of nature. Trace Sector gave each player free reroll per round. Lilia Nebula started with only 4 cost units in the first carousel and many others. Mercenary trade was quite fun. You could buy the upgrades of your unit skills directly from the shop. Another good memory, the Starship ASOL maneuvering around the board and spamming rockets. Really? <laughs> oh my god, check out that! <laughs> Okay, that was pretty funny. Uh, Bro, but that guy moved like two units! Like... <gasps> oh my god, what is the damage I'm doing here? <laughs> Set 4 of Fates was released in September 2020 and introduced to us Chosen Gems. They counted as two units of one of their trades, like Lux in Season 2. And also, they were already at 2 star level in the shop. The Cultist trade allowed you to summon Big Boy Kaleo, and Moonlight was the only trade in TFT history that allowed you to 4 star one of your units by upgrading the lowest star level unit by 1 star level. The fun units of this season were Set and Kane. The boss did the push ups when he dropped below 40% health and then returned to combat pumped up. With true damage bonus. And the cane had two different forms that allowed him to be Bruiser Red Cane or the one shot damage dealer Blue Cane. <laughs> oh, I'm busy reading chat. What the fuck am I doing? Oh my god, what am I doing? 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 Wow. Game's over, guys. Good luck. Give 5,000 damage. Nice. <laughs> Set 5 The Reckoning, released in April 2021, showed to us Shadow Air Radiant items, Abomination Scion, and Draconic Trait with X. It also brings back Kindred from Set 1 with one of the strongest ults in the game. I'm versing back to back LeBlanc players. What is going on here? What is that? What? <laughs> here comes the LeBlanc. Uh-oh. Oh, no, you have other units on your team that can do damage. <laughs> Wait, if I could get to her? Wait. Oh, oh. <gasps> Wait. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Wait, it's so close. In November 2021, Gizmos and Gadget set was released, and it was one of the most refreshing set of all time because of the augment system. It gave us an incredible amount of different play styles and was really rewarding for your flexibility and deep game understanding. Oh? Pause champ? It's a BT diff. Oh wait. This is auto and wild CC. The other new feature of the set was the Colossus trait. Three powerful units that took up two slots instead of one. The reroll trait of set six Yordles gave you one extra Yordle each round. And if you got all of your Yordles to three star, you could unlock a really powerful special legendary, Quaker. And let's not forget about Tom Kench. Once per planning phase, you could feed a unit to him, granting a permanent bonus stats. Another interesting set, 6.5 fact, it was the only set that included Arcane series character, which was never in League of Legends original game, Silco. Tier 3 Jinx. This is I've never seen a tier 3 Jinx before. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> The set 7, Dragonlance, released in June 2022, you all probably remember, it was not too long ago. He bring back the Colossus trade in new form. 
dragons. Dragons took up two slots as well and counted at three units of their origin. They were extremely powerful and also cost more than other units. And now, in the last release set 8, we got Hero Augment system, which includes two unique special augments for every unit. Set 8 became one of the most flexible set of all time, and I personally got extremely inspired by Monster Attack to start this channel, so I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I am, neither you are new or an old player. Subscribe if you do, and tell us down in the comments which set did you start playing TFT, and what's your best memory so far, maybe I forgot something really important. Bye!